All right, so I'm back again here. Um, got a few questions on the last post about how to do this, maybe if you were in a live situation. And so I thought I'd get a little bit more technical on looping as opposed to playing from the reels for the tape delay. Um, I've created a tape loop here. And uh, basically I just gonna spool it on one of the things here, empty spool, put it through all the heads here, and my skills aren't up to par right now, you're probably laughing at me, and I just stretch this over here, alright, so there's not too much tension as you can see, it's about that much pull into it. Up that much lead way. Um, the more pull that you have in there and less tension that you have on the tape, the more wow and flutter and misalignment of heads and all that shit's going to come into play. But uh, shoot, we're just trying to get delay, right? So, again, we're using the web core. I've added one head here, one extra playback head from an old cassette tape player. Um, I'm feeding it to a mixer uh, along with my guitar signal and both of those signals are returning back to the mic input. So I'm just going to demonstrate for you a little bit of delays here with the loop. Put it in record arm. See we've got the fantastic green light here. This is an all tube reel to reel tape machine where it gets this nice warm sound. Thank mm -hmm. you. 